Hey friends, Doug Addison. It is April 4th, 2019. That's right, it's 4-4. And get ready for things to come into line, come into place. Uh, last night I did my Spirit Connection webcast. In case you didn't catch it, uh, I release a prophetic word for the month of April and beyond for the next three months. In fact, three months of fast healing is here right now. And so you can catch the replay of that at DougAddison.com as well as we have the, uh, the podcast available also as on iTunes if you want to get that. Uh, I'm just excited for what God's doing right now. The Lord showed me is that, that He's releasing the spirit of wisdom and your natural mind and thinking is not going to work in this new season. It's real important. Because, you know, if we try to just use the gray matter or the natural mind, it's not going to come into line with the Spirit, what, with what He's doing right now. So this is a time that God is renewing our minds at a greater level. Colossians 3, 2, set your minds on things above and not on earthly things. I would print that verse out, Colossians 3, 2. I'd begin to pray and decree that verse and to set, in fact, uh, I think even right now, I'm just going to add that to my list. I decree and ver uh, pray verses every day, you know, that the mysteries be revealed, that the things hidden in darkness be revealed from the Bible. I find Bible verses, pray them and decree them and, and look what happens. You know, it's like a legal document, the Bible is, and if you just get the right verses at the right place, the right time, begin to pray and establish those. So during this time, you're going to want us to establish something new in your mind. And then you align yourself with heaven. And basically, this word the Lord gave me is that your mind is become, going to become a gold mine. And the wisdom is greater than gold. I tell you, greater than silver and gold. The spirit of wisdom is coming right now. And You'll want to get the spirit of wisdom because it's flowing from heaven. It's better than prophecy. The spirit of wisdom and revelation are great, but the spirit of uh, the spirit of prophecy is great. But the spirit of wisdom is even greater because it tells you what to do with those prophetic words. It tells you how to respond. We're in a time right now. The spirit of wisdom is here, and he wants to renew our minds. He wants to renew your mind. Romans 12, 2, you need to renew yourself away from the patterns of the world. This is what's happening right now. But before you can, many people anyway, I need to consider this. I had to. Before you could get this fullness of what God's doing, you need to get your heart healed. So in order to get wisdom into your mind, it starts in the heart. And there's three areas that God's healing right now over the next three months. Broken hearts, broken dreams, and broken hope. Hope deferred makes this, the heart sick, right? Where well, the Lord is healing broken hearts where many people have thought it was going to happen sooner. They even got upset at God or, or other people. Maybe you, you said yes to, to a prophetic word or you felt like you were supposed to marry someone and it didn't happen. Or you married them and they ended up terrible. Well, you know what? You probably didn't miss the Lord. Someone else might have been involved in those decisions of saying, no, I'm just releasing this prophetic word right now, and that the Lord is going to now bring healing to those broken dreams, those broken hearts, and the broken hope or hopelessness. So I, I tell you that, uh, I mean, I'm so excited because I've been walking through this in my own life, and as I've gotten healed of the broken heart, that's what got me healed of of Lyme disease, multiple chemical sensitivity. I got healed of a lot of things in my immune system because I was walking with a broken heart and I was a prophetic sign to people everywhere. I live out prophetic words to the Lord, used me and said, this is what I'm doing in people everywhere. I'm doing this uh, inside the church, outside the church. That's why we're seeing all this crazy, crazy killings and things is because of broken hearts, broken dreams, broken hope. But we could I tell you, we come into a line with it. I want you to listen. If you could do it, I'd, I'd encourage you to go to my um, my website and listen to my Spirit Connection webcast. Uh, it's called Three Months of Healing for the next three er for these three areas, 
Uh, and it goes beyond that. I talk about the wind of change that's here. It's an angel that comes every year, not to be confused with the winds of change. This wind of change is like a straight line wind. You're going to see relocations. You're going to see some realignment start to happen. You'll want to come into agreement with this word. Get it. I recommend listening to it a couple of times. Get it in your spirit, play it at night, whatever you have to do to get your heart healed, to also get your mind aligned with what the Lord is doing right now. And I'm excited for it. So Lord, I pray for the people who need this, the broken hearts. And the Lord said it was everybody pretty much. Broken dreams, hopelessness, the hope deferred makes the heart sick. I pray right now for the next three months and even beyond this, because it's not limited to time. I pray right now for the spirit of wisdom to open up, but also the spirit of healing the healing of our emotions, the healing of our soul, so that we can, uh, we can be a, a uh, as, as in Jeremiah it says that people have broken cisterns that are cracked cisterns that cannot hold water. We want to have that, that cistern, so to speak, to be healed so that we can hold the water of the Holy Spirit, that we can hold things that are going to help bring healing to us. And so uh, right now, Lord, release that in Jesus' name. Also, I'm going to be doing a, an online training this month called Seven Remedies for Spiritual Identity Theft. And it'll be April 20th, 10 to noon. Just go to dougaddison.com forward slash identity and you can sign up for it. It's a two-hour online training and I'm going to be walking through how to discover your destiny, removing the roadblocks, coming into agreement with heaven on your destiny. It's important once you once you get things aligned, this it works in all the different areas. I talk about it a lot. But once you come into alignment with these things, then the stuff starts flowing from heaven. And there's been an identity theft. In fact, we've suffered from the attack. When I got this message, I started getting hit with identity theft over and over and over. You know, like, uh, well, stealing my credit cards and... You know, so at one point they called me and said, your identity's been stolen. And I'm like, you know, I'm not going to believe that. I took authority over it right away. I found some Bible verses about it. And guess what? They, I called them back. They go, well, your identity did get stolen. Your credit card did. But you know what I mean? The enemy wants to try to scare you. He's trying to do a scare tactic. And this whole big thing on identity theft right now is a prophetic word. It really is. I was awakened on Christmas morning several years ago. And I, heard, I had a prophetic dream and the Lord said the words almost audibly. He said spiritual identity theft. And it's going on right now. We want to, uh, I want to help you and help you to help others as well. And to get out of the spirit of fear, to reverse things over your life, get a divine reversal. I don't know about you. I'm ready for a divine reversal. There's going to be what, what the Bible calls things happen suddenly. There's going to be suddenly happened uh, and uh, we're going to see new things open up. I tell you, it's going to be a powerful time. Also, um, catch my new app, Doug Addison app on iPhone, on iPhone and Android. Just go to the uh, Google App Store or Google Play, excuse me, Google Play or Apple App Store and look it up. You get the daily prophetic words delivered to you. And also, uh, if you're trying to take a negativity fast, which I'm recommending, there's, I tell you, my app is a negative-free zone, and so is my website. Anyway, I hope you have a great weekend. Looking forward to seeing you soon.